Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm getting ready to make some lima bean, chicken, okra, and corn. What? You don't want none? So I know how much to cook. I'm going to eat some, but I know. Okay, don't come in here looking all crazy. Crazy about mine. Damn. Okay, because it wasn't fixed right. That's why he wasn't crazy about it. If you ain't going to eat none, let me know now. So I'll fix enough for me. Okay, and also... I have this green seasoning that I freeze. I'm trying to break it. It's almost impossible. Okay. So I'll be using my Presto kitchen kettle. It's electric kettle. To make this soup. I'll be using chicken broth. Y'all know how I season food. It'll be well seasoned. I'm going to use some already cooked chicken, y'all. So I'll be adding this last. After the other stuff is done. This is the uh, John Souls Foods. This is good. Good brand. Because it don't have hormones and stuff in it. So I've used this before. And. Be adding this. Can't say it because this man be in here again. And this. So basically this is like a succotash soup. I'm not putting tomato in it though. Okay, succotash. I think it has tomato and squash and stuff in it. But people make it different ways. And y'all know me. I do my own thing. So. I'm going to lower this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, and the heat just came on, so that's the noise you hear. I'll keep my stuff together, so. This is the steamer basket that comes with this. You can also deep fry in here, pour some grease in here, and Put your chicken or your fries in here. Come with this handle. Well, I'm not going to use it. But I do keep everything together. Cord and everything. I love my kitchen gadgets. Oops. Let me turn this thing off until I get some food in here. It was clean already, but it's been stored. So, okay. So I'm gonna start by. my chicken broth in here. And then I'll turn it on. Y'all know I like a nice juicy soup. I like my soup to be soupy. I don't want to make it like a stew. I love the broth. It's always well seasoned. Now I can turn it on. I always start out at 300. Like I said, the chicken is going in here after all this stuff falls out in here. It's done. So 
lima bean. Walter just came in here and looked at them. Because he said he don't like them. Walmart never has the fresh okra in the vegetable department. I'm calling this a healthy soup. I want a lot of okra. That's enough. Corn. I tell y'all all the time, we like corn. This is the green seasoning. It has uh, bell pepper and jalapenos and look up green season. I got a, uh, a video where I made this. Put all the stuff in the uh, in the blender, blended it up and froze it. I froze some of them in little like ice cube trays. I'll be back. Okay, I went and got my onion chopper thingamajig so I can mince up. This man won't have nothing to talk about. Small, smaller than it was. Yeah, be careful with the blade, it's very, very sharp. Even when you wash it and then dry it with the dish towel, this will cut you through the dish towel, so you have to be very careful.
and season it. Just a minute while I gather my stuff. Okay, I'm going to season this. I'm going to start with the Nora chicken bouillon powder. And put two tablespoons. Now this is the salt. Maybe one and a half tablespoons. Now I'll taste it to see what it needs. Italian seasoning, no salt in here. Use the sunshine seasoning. Sprinkle it freely. Just got salt in. I'm using some celery seed. That's too much. I always do this. Putting about a pinch of celery seed. Can't use too much. Cayenne pepper. That's the red pepper. It's the powder. And some black, white, green, and red peppercorns. And I think about should I put the rotel in here or some cream of chicken soup? I'm use the cream of chicken soup. Can off. Come on, man, no break. Okay, there you go. And of course, the chicken soup has salt in it, and this is condensed. This goodness out of here. Oh, I won't put none of this in. Garlic, herbs, all purpose seasoning. I still didn't put my green seasoning in here. I'm going a nice last chunk, but I can't put this whole thing in there. Oh, it be too much. I wonder if I can grate this. I got a grater. There you go. Got a big chunk. Big old chunk of green seasoning. Right. It's starting to smell good, yeah. Simmer and get all this frozen stuff thaw out. Then I'll add the meat. I could have cooked some. I got some chicken legs in there that I had thawed out the day before yesterday or yesterday. Oh, this is fully cooked. I don't know if I said that. Mm -hmm. 
you a plate. This is chicken fajitas. Make this use this in a stir fry. Like I said, it's already done. It cooks good, yeah. Oh my, this is so good. Make me see. I think it's a bell pepper. It's a little too large for water. Okay, he gonna eat this food. Think about throwing some rice in here. Because I ain't making no pot of rice. Okay, I'm gonna wash, rinse some rice, maybe a half a cup of rice. And put it in there. So everything's in one pot. Regular long grain white rice. I'll be back. Okay, just gonna uh, rinse this rice till the water ran clear. Just putting it in here. So everything is in here. It's a half a cup of rice. I had the chicken in here. I ain't got to think about it. Forgetting that the camera is on. I'm just rinsing stuff. I can put some more. So I added more stuff. I'm going to I'm gonna add another half a tablespoon of this Nora Bouillon. Okay. 
Okay. My goodness. I'm gonna take the camera off and show y'all how it looks now. This is how it looks now. Goodness, look at that. Suffering sucker tash. Okay, I'll make some Jiffy mix. I just stirred it because I don't want the rice to stick on the bottom. Don't blow. Just use a one egg. That's a what's a jumbo? It's a jumbo egg. I ain't got no milk. All I got is that sweet almond milk, and I ain't putting that in here. So we use some water. Let me see if I got a smaller pan. Nope, it's too small, so I'm going to use pan. It's kind of big, but the cornbread will just be kind of thin. That's okay. about 20 minutes to cook. I'll just watch it and get this towel off this stove. Let's do this again. This smells so good. Wow. stirring it because I don't want the rice to stick. It smells good, yeah. Okay, I will be back. Okay, my, what is this stuff? Chicken succotash soup is done. The rice is done. Oh Lord. Wait for that to clear up. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna dip me up some in a minute. Let me see about this cornbread. Yep, it's done. Unplug both of them. Just a minute. Here's my bowl. Put some hot sauce in it and cornbread. In my sucker tash and chicken soup. And there was only a half a cup of rice in there and it was just enough. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste this. You taste the broth and the um uh, what's that little flat bean? Mama bean. Let me get an okra. I see that sting. This is comfort food. I'm gonna try some chicken. Mm. This is good. I usually don't eat this early. It's 2:20. This is hot. This is good, y'all. And I ain't just saying that. We like to get Walter's reaction when he tastes, tastes it. Mr. I don't like lima beans. Feel like this. This is delicious. It's got food stick to your ribs. This is good, y'all. I can't say it enough. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all, have, you all uh, have a very blessed rest of the day. Okay, bon appetit. Bye.